So Scott, kind of tell me about this whole uh, layout for the building. First off, I guess we could start yeah, with... Yeah, we have, uh, we're working on building, and, and it will be always a work in progress of, of just sort of a theme park uh, set here, because uh, I love theme parks. Oh, we're going to kill some people. <laughs> Uh, my boys love theme parks. We love going to theme parks, and uh, it's just a cool, whimsical thing to have in the store, in the window for people to come by and see. Um, just how fun Lego can be, and how how, how much creativity is around it. Because this is this is a set, um, and that's a set. But all, everything else is just sort of building a scene out of existing sets. Are y'all gonna change it every few, I guess, weeks or months? The display in the front, or it'll stay as the it'll it'll probably stay mostly like this. Uh, we may make some like quirky changes for seasons. Is kind of a dream I have. Uh, it depends on how busy we are uh, in, in the rest of the part of the store. All right. And uh, over here, uh, this UCS Millennium Falcon, the the newest one, uh, probably one of the cooler Star Wars sets. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. Uh, it Probably not going to live there, but it's. Uh, we're going to try to do something pretty neat with it. Um, haven't figured it out yet. And then here we've got the mini figure. Yeah, all the glass cases um, around here have um, individual mini figures. Uh, people can come in and pick out you know the characters they like or, or mini figures that uh, they find cool and uh, purchase individually. So you don't have to buy the whole set. Um, you can get, and then we have some, we'll show them down there, but some custom minifigures. Ah, okay. And then um, the stuff on the walls, the sets on the walls, what are those? Right, these are sets that we've uh, either purchased uh, in the lead up to the grand opening uh, at a buy day at the Plano Bricks and Minifig store. We had a buy day uh, last Saturday here. Um, but these are, are used sets uh, that people have, have sold to us. We clean them up, we inspect them, uh, we make sure that they're uh, play ready, that's the, the phrasing we use, uh, that they can be played with without any interference. Uh, they're not missing anything that's going to make them fall apart if you touch them or look at them wrong. And that they have most of their parts there and we, we resell them as used sets. Nice. I see that ship over there, it's kind of cool. That Ninjago ship is really cool. Wow. Yeah. And then we've got more. Uh, minifigures here? Yep, yep, more. This is where we get into uh, collectible minifigures. These are uh, series, Simpsons, Disney minifigures, but, but Lego has a line of, they call them CMFs, but they're minifigures that come sold in uh, sealed bags. And um, people collect them, they love them. Uh, they're blind bags, so you have to buy a bunch of them to get what you want uh, if you're missing CMF from a series. Uh, we might have it on the shelf, and you don't have to buy 10 blind bags to try to find it. Nice. And then here, we have uh, the building station, I guess you could say? Yeah, building station, uh, bulk table. This is where you come in, and um, if you need a 8 by 25 pink plate, there's one right there. Um, yeah, well, so you can come in and, and find whatever piece you need or whatever you know, your imagination strikes you as of what you want to build, you can rifle through here and find pieces for it. We sell them in uh, little bitty containers, bigger containers, and then it goes up to half a gallon in gallon bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then later on, I see you guys are going to be adding stuff on the walls. Yeah, yeah, we've got more stuff on the walls. These are actually the blind bags I was talking about, but these aren't blind. These are just 212 clone troopers. Um, but so, so you know we can get out of these. And then uh, here's some custom molded uh, firearms. Uh, Lego does not sell weapons in any of their sets other than like a musket, a revolver, and Star Wars weaponry. So this is historical uh, real weaponry that we sell for people that want to build uh, sort of accurate uh, mocks, which we haven't talked about. Mocks are ma my own creations. Oh, okay. uh, they're, if you take a bunch of Legos and build something custom, mm -hmm. call it a mock. So, okay. so if you wanted to build historic Verdun or Gettysburg or something, you can, we, we, we sell the weaponry to do that. <laughs> and then here in the middle, just some other things on sale. Right, yep, some, uh, 
some just Lego uh, storage containers. The heads uh, come apart and you can store your Legos in them. They just look kind of neat. This thing, I yeah. wish we had. It's like a little Lego scoop. So oh. you can scoop up your Lego <laughs> and, and dump it into your storage container. Right. But I, I, th I thought that was great. Um, Handy these days. Right, yeah. <laughs> And just some other sets on sale. Some other, these are new okay. sets. Yep, new okay. sets for sale. Cool. And then later on, you said that um, this place will also turn into kind of like um, a party, party place. Right. Place? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess right now. That's okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, through that door over there is a party room, uh, so we will be able to host uh, children's or adults, I guess, birthday <laughs> parties. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, children's birthday parties. Um, All right. And other events, we do plan on having, you know, like date night stuff, um, mm -hmm. other events that other stores have done, maybe some STEM stuff, uh, some homeschooling stuff, but uh, that's kind of, like I said earlier, we got to get through the end of the beginning before we can start thinking about doing any of that exactly. stuff. Uh, the birthday party should be really cool, though. We have a derby track mm -hmm. where you can build your own Lego cars and race them down this derby track and then watch them crash and, and stuff. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. Oh. Is there anything else uh, here in the building that we uh, didn't talk about? Uh, mini maker. Oh, minifig maker, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is just a divided table. Uh, kids can come in and, um, or uh, any, really anybody, pick out your head, pick out your torso. We got a cool pair of pants that you like that fits all that. That does not fit all that. Let's get into it looks like it works for John Deere. There we go. <laughs> we got a variety here. Yep. And then the idea is that, you know, you just get, a, at the end of the day, you get a cool little mini fig that you can take home. Kind of zoom in. There we go. What are you going to name him? Uh, I, that's a, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mike. It's Mike. Mike, Mike works for John Deere. <laughs> and if we can find him a wrench. But yeah, the idea is That's just cool. that kids can come in. It's, um, as Jennifer talked about earlier, it's, it's just a fun little thing. It's not expensive. Um, and you get your own little minifig. And uh, to do it, you know, out of your house would cost you a whole lot of money just to accumulate this much different options. So right. It's just a fun, just a fun little whimsical thing to do. Well, thank you so much.